the New England uh, burger. <laughs> James is gonna prepare this for you today. Hi, James. Well, hey, we're gonna do the New England burger, okay? Meredith's gonna escape out of it. Real quick, we've uh, presented you with the ingredients to hopefully solidify it. I know Benjamin likes to see everything and evaluate, so this should help him. We're gonna need a plate. We're gonna need sriracha. We're gonna need a brioche bun. We're gonna need a pub burger. It's fully cooked. Do not screw with this, okay? It's pretty straightforward. If a customer asks you, can you cook it medium rare? I'd be like, nope, we try to make it easy. Cook everything to well done. You're gonna need mixed greens. Sliced tomatoes. Obviously, these are not the ones we just sliced because they look behemoth. You're gonna need bacon. This is cheddar cheese, Vermont Sharp, and apple chutney. These are the ingredients that we need. Now we're gonna perform building a burger. Thank you. All right, take your brioche bun. Please, notice there's a dome. It's sexy. It looks like fresh buns, okay? Keep it that way. You can giggle back there. <laughs> I was admiring. That's right. She's admiring the bun. Take your buns. We used to put it ciabattas in the oven, but now we're going to get a nice little crisp on it. So spray the top and the bottom. Put that right on your griddle. Boom. Now, burger time. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this. We needed a piece of wax paper. I am so sorry. I messed up. Oh my. Meredith, you want to join me so you can learn more? See, wax paper on the there. This will help because you can reuse it, your burger. See the grill lines? Put them up, okay? That way when you do it. <laughs> sorry, I took that away from you. Come on, close. Oh, I also forgot about two other ingredients. I am deeply sorry. They weren't on the board. You but you can see salt, pepper, oil. No, I didn't just fart. That was Eden. the thing. Okay. Come on down. Swirl a little e-view on it. Even though there's enough fat already on it. Three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we're going to go in the microwave for how long, Meredith? Is it two? Gonna do a minute to the first time, and then we're gonna put on the cheese, the bacon, and the chutney, and then we'll go for another minute. So total time. You are correct, ma'am. Right. Yes. It will come with chips or fruits and all that jizzy jazz. All right. There's the color we're trying to get right there on the top. I'm gonna spin the bun now. Oh my god, it smells divine. Okay, we can actually start building this. We'll leave there. Sriracha sauce. Meredith, what's in sriracha? Mayonnaise and sriracha. Thank you very much. We're going to put some on the top too, but we're going to get to that in a minute. Mixed greens. Tomato. Usually one good size one or two thin ones. That one's in between. Then, I want to show you a little trick though. This with this bun, okay? I don't want to see us leave it like that because it's going to squish and it's going to look like your face when you wake up in the morning and you dive into the pillow. All nasty like. So for right now, leave it just like that. And you see, this is why we also core. Someone's gonna get that core right up their mouth. Yeah. All right, look at it. See all the fat on it? It's juicy, it's good, okay, steaming. Now, because these microwaves are a little bit hotter, we don't need to go as long. Chutney, bacon. This is what happens when you freeze cheese too long. It gets crumbly. Don't freak out, just put it on there. Cook it. And no, make sure you take the paper off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make sure you take the paper off. Back in the mic for 30 seconds. We just want to melt that cheese. Whoa. Start. Meredith, you wanted this? I saw you grab it for it. Come on in. You can show them how to properly pour afterwards. Yes, definitely so. Loving up. Oh, Meredith's going to pour. Yeah, she's going to show you how to pour. Look at Mayor Corey. <laughs> Hardcore. And she saved money because she only used one glove. <laughs> Out comes the burger with the cheese yeah. and it's bubbling crazy like. All right, here's the good trick. We're gonna put our shirasha, it says on the top and the bottom, if everybody read correctly. I'm holding it, palming it in my hand. Okay, best way to do. Take this guy out, flip it on top, then flip it back over. It will be hot, okay? So everybody knows. And then, here comes the magic of TV. You're gonna stab it right in the middle. There you go. And on the plate. Take a zoom up on that, Randy. 
If you can't get the knife in the bun, maybe you shouldn't work here. Thank you.